morning. I think it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> hey, Thomas. Okay. Hey Tim and Scott and Lauren and Katie and Patrick. I will be back at four, but it's gonna be a pre-recorded. Thomas is not gonna be live. It's me, me and Miss Renee made a video. And it'll be posted at four. Hi, Allie. And Katie C. Oh, I slept weird last night. My neck hurts. I'm on my phone again today, so hopefully we don't have any issues. Oh, there we go. Now I can see myself. <laughs> Hi, St. Nick's. Me too, Amber. I try to go to bed early and it doesn't work. <clears throat> Hi, Audrey. Hi, Thomas R. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jared. Oh. Hi, Sarah. Tim, I know I messed up the dates. That's why I posted the right one on the Facebook page. So if you want the right dates, it's on this page. It is coffee time. That's what my cup says. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> Last night, me and my mom were passing a yawn back and forth. So sorry, Amber. I'll try to stop yawning. I don't know where any of my dogs are right now. Oh, here comes a dog. Hi, Brookie. Want to say hi? Come here, come on so I can see you. <laughs> Brooke's here to say hi. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, she's got bad breath. You got stinky breath. All right, get off. You too. Oh. <laughs> Brooke is just all about it. <laughs> Can you get down, please? I have stubborn dogs, if you can't tell. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. You have two classes today, Amber? Virtual classes? What are you doing? Hi, 
Bye, Phoebe. <clears throat> Thank you, John B. She is pretty. And she knows it. Okay. Y'all ready to get started? Rec therapy and dance. That sounds fun, Amber. I'm pretty excited for next week so y'all can actually talk back to me. <laughs> okay. So. Today is National Grape Popsicle Day. Who likes grape? Because I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to pretend it's just National Popsicle Day. Mm -hmm. National Grape Popsicle Day. My favorite are like, uh, what are those called? They're like pineapple and mango and fruit flavors. You do, Scott? Well, today's your day. So, hi, Amanda R. You like grape juice? Well, good. Y'all can have all the grape things. Okay. Since summer is just around the corner. See, Lauren, those sound way better. Okay, since summer is just around the corner, May 27th calls for warm weather, sunshine, and National Grape Popsicle Day. See, yeah, I like the red ones, too. Those are good. Ice cream is always going to be better, Sarah. <laughs> okay. In San Francisco, California, in 1905, 11-year-old Frank Epperson was outside on his porch mixing water with a white powdered flavoring to make soda. Upon going inside, he left it there on the porch with the stirring stick still in it. That night, the temperature... Oh, I just lost my spot. That night, the temperature reached a, record, reached a record low, and the following morning, mor the following morning, <laughs> um, Frank discovered the drinks had frozen to the stick. Hey, Jeffrey. So that's how they invented popsicles by accident. Isn't that cool? So years later, in 1922, Epperson introduced his treat at a fireman's ball where it was a huge success. Then in 1923, he made and sold his frozen treat on a stick at an amusement park in Alameda, California. Epperson applied for a patent in 1924, and his frozen confectionery, which he called Epsicle, Ice Pop, he then renamed it to Popsicle. Epsicle, or... <laughs> Wouldn't it have been weird if it was called an Epsicle still? Kool-Aid ones. Okay, popsicles are one of summer's favorite treats for all ages. And National Grape Popsicle Day honors one of the most popular flavors. Gross. <laughs> I guess grape is popular. It tastes like cough medicine to me. Too sour for you, Thomas? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> okay. All right, so you could actually make your own popsicles at home. Ew. <laughs> I feel you, Amber. Ew. Okay, so make some homemade grape popsicles or pick up your favorite frozen grape treat. One way to enjoy your popsicle without a mess is by adding it to clear soda. Pour the soda into a glass and then just add your popsicle to your soda. Not only does it keep your drink cool, but it also 
adds a bright color to your beverage. So they're saying you get a cup full of like Sprite and then you put your popsicle in there. So it's a flavored Sprite. That actually sounds like a really good idea. So then you're not like getting it all over you. It's just in the cup. Um, as the popsicle begins to melt, you can break it up like a slushy. Yum. I wish I had some popsicles. I would try that. Kind of like a ice cream float, but popsicles. Does anybody have popsicles in their fridge that I can come get? <laughs> mess something up. That is probably good for hot weather. It's actually not too bad out there. I sat outside yesterday, but when it starts getting really hot in the summer, yeah, it probably will. Becca likes blue popsicles. Ooh, what flavor are the blue? Blue raspberry or is it like blueberry? I could get behind that. <laughs> but you could also make your own popsicle, whatever flavor you want. It just has to be liquid. So like he made his, you just put some in a cup and you put a popsicle in there and let it freeze. And then you have your own flavored popsicle. I should try to make a coffee one. That sounds great. Yep, they have sugar-free popsicles too. They have some with real fruit. I like the blue one, Becca. I like that it would turn your mouth blue. That's fun. Hey, Shara. Okay. Blue raspberry, yep. All right. So this day in history, I moved the phone and now it's gonna, now it's gonna skip on me. But maybe it's done. I'll stop touching things. Coffee popsicles, Shara, they're already a thing. I'm behind. Okay, on this day in history, so, oh my gosh, hold on. Now we're talking about pickle popsicles. <laughs> I'm behind that share. They have those at the store that are just pickle juice and then you freeze them. It's the bomb. I agree. Oreo cheesecake pops. Whew, y'all getting fancy. My favorite treat in the summer is a snow cone that's pickle juice flavor, but with Kool-Aid powder on top. And sometimes you can put chopped pickles on it. If you like pickle juice, Sherry, you should try it. Yeah, anything with the Oreo, I will also eat. Okay. On this day in history, in 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge connecting San Francisco and Marin County, California is open to pedestrian traffic, and more than 200,000 pedestrians walked across it on opening day. So do you all know what the Golden, Great, Go Golden Gate Bridge is? I don't know why it's called Golden Gate. It's like red. Fruit punch pickles, Shara. We are kindred spirits. <laughs> it definitely sounds like something I would eat. Amber pickle juice stops headaches? I did not know that. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> I know, I might have to go eat some popsicles later today. It's some pickle juice. My, this is not a popsicle, but me and my stepsister used to freeze the jar of pickle juice when we ate all the pickles, which was usually pretty fast. And then we 
would get it out and then break it up so then it was just a pickle juice slushy. <laughs> Highly recommend. Tim says the Golden Gate Bridge is 83 years old. I think that they're... There's something happening with NASA today, but I haven't looked it up. Let me see. SpaceX. So SpaceX is supposed to launch today. It's called Falcon 9. But it looks like they might have some weather problems. Let me see if there's... Any of y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Dr. Pepper floats. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let me read this. So SpaceX is set to mark a huge milestone in, in its own company with a first ever crewed space flight set to take off from Cape Canaveral in Florida later today. The mission is Commercial Crew Demo 2, the culmination of its Crew Dragon Human Spacecraft Development Program, which will carry NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benekin to the International Space Station. So the launch is currently set to take off from Kennedy Space Center at 4.33 p.m., although that will depend on weather conditions that haven't been looking good, so maybe not today, but um, if not, it might be this weekend. They have to wait a few days if it doesn't go off today. But I'm pretty sure SpaceX... is the Tesla company, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm making stuff up. NASA. Like this. I did see that email, Shara. If um, any of y'all have emailed me about next week, I've gotten them. I am just waiting on a few more things from billing before I reply, so I don't have to email y'all a whole bunch of times. So I have gotten it, Shara. I saw that one. So um, after we get off today, y'all should all go look up uh, SpaceX because they might have a video of a rocket launching later which would be awesome to see. I'm sure they will do it live if it happens. And they have someone on the NASA Twitter live tweeting, so that's cool. No, y'all don't know live rockets? Okay. Fine, just me, we'll watch. Okay. Tim is obsessed with Pop-Tarts. I don't know. Some are good frozen though. Maybe you could make a Pop-Tart popsicle, Tim. All right, we only have one celebrity birthday today. His name is Chris Colfer. If y'all know what Chris Colfer is famous for. No, he is a singer. Mm -hmm. Tim knows. <laughs> he was on Glee. I know y'all know what Glee is. He played Kurt on Glee. Right, I'm pretty sure. What was his name, Kurt? <laughs> Well, he, yep, TV Glee. He also writes children's books, which I think is cool. Um, he is turning 29 today. So he's an American actor, 
singer, writer, and writer who came into the limelight for his role of Kurt Hummel in the super hit television series Glee. I know y'all know who Kurt Hummel is, right? If you watch Glee, you know. Um, he was the recipient of a Golden Globe and Screen Guild Award each and three People's Choice Awards. I don't know how many. I think I skipped word. Um, Colfer was named in the Times list of 100 of the 100 most influential people in 2011. His exceptional acting skills have been praised by critics who found a special talent in him. While Colfer's role as Hummel made him a household name in America, it was his book series, The Land of Stories, that gave him worldwide popularity. His first ever book, The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell, went on to earn him a New York Times number one best-selling author title. The book earned a number one position on the New York Times bestseller list in children's chapter books category. It remained there for two weeks. <laughs> the book series already has had five installments, which the with the six released in 2017. Apart from his work as an author and actor, Colfer has kept the hat of a producer, director, and scriptwriter as well. His hands are full with future projects in television, film, and fiction. So, I don't think he's acted since Glee, but he's been writing and he's been behind the scenes a lot. Patrick, you with your chipmunks. Sherry, you would contact Miss Madison Delgado for returning. Hi, Rebecca. Okay. Dance today? Mm hmm. So, if y'all don't know who Chris Colfer is, maybe y'all can check out his books. They sound kind of cool. He's got like seven or eight of them now. He's just being funny, Jeffrey. He does it every day. It's Patrick's thing. Chipmunks. Y'all ready for some trivia? I see that Kyle's on. Does that mean Mr. Joel is here? <laughs> if so, hi Joel. Bring it on. Okay. All right, skipping again. All right, what is the symbol that represents St. Patrick's Day? So what is the symbol that we use on St. Patrick's Day? Bonus points if you can find the emoji of it, Patrick. Yep, Joel is with Kyle, or he was this morning. Not the iron. Yep, its official name is Shamrock. Do y'all know what a shamrock is? Let's see if I can find it on here. It's a four leaf clover. Oh, we did it at the same time, Lord. <laughs> Shamrock. So, that's how it's spelled. Yep. Four clover. Yeah, Monica. 
supposed to be good luck. <clears throat> okay, good job, guys. All right, next question. Good job, Audrey. All right, where do y'all think the world's largest active volcano is located? <laughs> it is kind of like Lucky Charms, right, Lauren? Drop my pen. So where do y'all think the world's largest active volcano is located? Yep, it is Hawaii, and I just looked, and Thomas, you're right, it is also Honolulu. Honolulu, Hawaii, and let's see, it's 13,677 feet above sea level. It's called, I'm going to mess this up, Mauna Loa, I'll type it, Mauna Loa, that's what it's called. And it says it's located on the lava-filled Big Island. So I guess all of Honolulu is just full of lava. <laughs> it says it's a shield volcano. And it shares a hot spot in the Pacific Plate. Sounds pretty cool. So if it, you measure from the base to the top, the pile of lava, as they call it, measures more than 56,000 feet. Ooh, that's a big volcano. Yep, I don't know how you say it. Mauna. Mauna. I'm sorry, I should just stop trying. <laughs> Hawaii dance. Hula dancing, you mean? Has anyone ever been there? Hawaii's on my list, but, oh, Thomas even said it right. I didn't notice that you got it, good job. No, I know some of y'all have been to Hawaii. How are you watching South Park and me at the same time, Patrick? You've never been, Thomas. You should go since you know what it's called. Scott, I feel like I knew that, that you lived in Hawaii. So have you seen this volcano? Your parents went through the one? Jealous. Nope. Well, because you can. Okay, then. No. Well, it's on my list now, so whoever gets to go there first better take pictures. <laughs> okay. All right, what plant is known to help heal a sunburn? So what plant can you use to help heal a sunburn? Sarah, you've been there twice? That's pretty cool. I keep hoping my brother will get stationed in Hawaii, so then I just have to go visit. <laughs> An eggplant? What have you been reading, Thomas? Yeah, Amber and Shara. Y'all got it. Aloe. Which I have some on my front porch. Do you know what aloe looks like? I have a huge plant on my front porch and you can just break off the leaves and then you squeeze it and the aloe comes out. Aloe vera, yep.
you have one. They're good things to have. Wonder if there's oh. oh, they're not emoji for that. Oh, there's Phoebe. Hello. She decided to grace us with her presence. <laughs> <laughs> yep if y'all haven't gotten one aloe is just a type of cactus can y'all hear my mom sneezing <laughs> phoebe's gonna go check that out um it's good for burns yeah sunburns too but it's just a type of cactus and they're really easy to grow they don't take a lot of water they like the sun so y'all should get one and try to grow it it's a good plant to have for sunburns, but also if you burn yourself cooking or something, it's a good plant to have. Okay. All right. Why? I don't know why, Patrick. <laughs> something in the plant helps your burn. So do you want me to look? Let's look. Why? Aloe is an anti-inflammatory. It promotes circulation and inhibits the growth of bacteria. That's why. Okay, last trivia question. What are the three primary colors? So we have three primary colors. Do y'all know what they are? You have one on your kitchen bar. Cool. Red, yellow, and blue. Yep. Red, blue, and yellow. Because then if you mix some of these together, that's how you get secondary colors, right? So you mix red and blue to get purple. You mix blue and yellow to get green. And you mix red and yellow to get orange. Awesome. Y'all are smarter than me. <laughs> okay, let's I think I have enough for one one or two more spotlights. So let's see here. Let me mind my paper. Okay, get all of those. red and blue. Okay. All right, so we have two birthdays today. Let's see if my phone's gonna stop messing up. Okay, maybe. So today is Keverly H and Ben N's birthdays. So happy birthday to them. Hopefully you'll get to see some birthday brigade later on today. Okay. We still have time and I still have a few spotlights left, so. Mm, I think I've already done that. All right, we're gonna do big mic. So. Again, these are just a spotlight that we sent out to people. Um, I only have a few left because I only have a few days left of this kind of morning update. So let's see some good things he's been doing since he's been at home. <laughs> Lots of good things. Hope y'all ready for this. He said he's researched how to get rid of wasps and told his mom about what I found. He also built wasp catchers and knows what to use as bait. So if you have a wasp problem, let's call Big Mike. 
Um, he's also been walking every day. His hobbies are bowling, watching movies, talking on the phone, listening to music, and looking up recipes. He said one talent that he has that we don't know about, he says he's a great dancer. Two skills he's learned at MP, he said cooking and technology. He says he misses everything about MP. Um, he said he doesn't have any pets, but his brother has a 100-pound yellow lab named Cody, and he likes to visit him. I bet Cody would get along with Maverick. Um, his favorite movie, Tombstone, and his, is his favorite movie of all time, but Jumanji movies with Dwayne Johnson are his new favorite movies. His favorite color is orange. He's been a hipster for seven years. Yeah. And he doesn't know what he would wish for if he could have one wish. I haven't seen or heard from Big Mike, but if you're watching Big Mike, thanks for your spotlight. We'll do Miss Jill R for our staff. Yep. Apparently he knows how to kill all the wasps, so I'm gonna need to call him. <laughs> I need this knowledge. Okay, so Miss Jill Rodriguez, so I'll fold this in half, it's easier to read. She said her hidden talent is that she's pretty good at recognizing other people's talents and gifts. I agree with that. Two learned skills she has. She said reading and roller skating. She said, I learned these when I was little and they have served me well. Two of her highest values are respect and love for people and animals. Her first job was a candy striper volunteer at the hospital pediatric intensive care unit that she was in when she was in high school. Or that was when I was in high school, sorry. Yeah, I'll have to get a video of Big Mike dancing. That sounds great. Maverick's talking outside. <laughs> okay, Miss Jill has two dogs. They are shit named Oreo and Nico. And I think Maverick's messing with my internet out there. Um, but Miss Jill's dogs are really cute. The farthest place she's traveled, can't pronounce it, but somewhere in China for business when she used to design and build hearing aids. If you got stuck in an elevator and were forced to listen to one song, she said she would pick spa music or nature sounds or she would go crazy. Something good she's done with this time at home, she said taking long and frequent walks with her daughter Jasmine who had to come home from college. Her hero, um, she says her heroes are Eckhart Tolle, and Deepak Chopra, two peaceful and loving people. She's worked at MP since September 2017. And then anything else she wants us to know, she said I was born, my internet is not cooperating today. She said she was born and raised in Hawaii, so I wonder if she's seen the volcano. Um, her husband is George, who is from Puerto Rico. She has two children, Jasmine, who is 20, and Julian, who is 16, and she loves working at MP, and she misses all the hipsters. Mm -hmm. Oreo is a good name for a dog. Well, I don't know what's going on with my internet, but it needs to stop. <laughs> okay, let me pull up a schedule.
something happened. Yeah, my phone is messing up, but I'll go ahead and read the schedule for today. So it's Wednesday. I think it's Thursday, but we have a hip tip from Ms. a hip tip from Miss Kelly at ten thirty. A live with Jesse at eleven for fit tips, and then live with Miss Olivia at twelve. And make sure you print out the worksheet she posted yesterday. Then at 1, Miss Rados is going to be making low carb donuts. Waiting. Okay. Then at 2, there's going to be song sharing with Nathan. At 3, there's going to be living room learning episode 6 with Miss Kelly. And then at 4 is the video that I was talking about yesterday with me and Miss Renee. And we're going to be talking about all of the new stuff happening to MP Online. Then I'm going to show you all the new Facebook and what that looks like. Um, share there is no Bible study today with Foster because we are um, actually going up to the building to get ready for next week. So I had to make it a pre-recorded because we'll all be busy getting the classrooms ready. But the one at four today is really important that y'all watch. It's about um, all, it's about all of the new stuff for MP Online. And we're going to explain why not everybody can come back right now. So make sure you watch that. I know there's a dance Zoom at 2, right? Dance Zoom class at 2 with Miss Caitlin. Okay. But if you guys have any questions before or after y'all watch the video with me and Miss Renee, you can email me or have your parents email me. Foster also has a Foster also has a Bible study Zoom class. You're right. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and try to figure out my internet, but I will see y'all in the morning.